calculated the amount of water that lands on this raised area. This is the food forest, is what we're calling it. Um, and it's a huge amount of water, and that's a huge amount of runoff that, you know, will end up in the pond or in the canal or end up being a, a hazard rather than something, you know, that we want to harvest. We want to take that water and sink it, store it, and uh, spread it out to make use of it. So you can see all the tarot that we have planted in these ditches. The water will flood into here, and once it gets to a certain height, overflow, and all these canals are in a serpentine to like move that water through real slow and make sure the trees get it, not flooding them, but you get a lot of rain make sure they... Rain. Rain. Uh, you can see the diversity in here. It's kind of jungly, and we want it even more jungly. Like, Imagine this when those those lychees and those mangoes are full grown and, and there's a big overstore and it's nice and shady in here and um, the idea is all that diversity is the trade-off for not using chemical fertilizers and, or pesticides because it's so diverse the bugs can't get a, a, a bloom like an overpopulation to, to wipe out any of our crops or if we lose one crop we've got 40 other crops who cares you know so um, that's the route that we take uh, on our farm. Um, anybody familiar with Moringa? Moringa yeah. yeah, all right. We got some Moringa fans. Cool. What's that? Um, Moringa is, I'd wager, the most nutritious vegetable, tree vegetable okay. that there is. But I need to wash it, right? No, just eat it. Yeah, go for it. Um, we'll throw some in our salad, too. Thank you. Um, Double dose. Right. No, I'm gonna try it. it. So, um, Moringa is, um, got, I forget all the stats, but it's got more protein or more amino acids than steak. It's got more calcium than milk, blah, 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 blah. It's full of nutrients. Um, every part of it is some form of useful. The leaves are edible. The se seed stalks are uh, edible. The bark is medicinal. The roots are medicinal, and for a million different things. So look into moringa. Plant more moringa. Branch. Looks like you can just cut the branch and plant it on the ground. Is that that easy to yeah, reproduce yeah. it? It grows from uh, suckers. It grows from um, from seed. It's it's it wants to grow. It thrives. You can't stop it from growing. If you if we come up to here, you'll see where we um we have a little fodder bank of it. We keep it chopped low for harvest, and then we let these ones grow tall for seed. You can do that too. Um, let's see what else we got in here. We've got some edible ferns in here. We've got um, cranberry hibiscus. If anybody likes tart or sour, this is um, cranberry hibiscus. This wow. grows really well over the summer and has um cranberry hibiscus. Yeah, makes a nice tea. How many of you hate dollarweed? Do we have any gardeners in here? <laughs> you can eat it. You yeah. Eat it. That's the only good news, you can eat it. This terrible weed that you have in your yards is an edible green. And so we're going to throw some of that in our salad. Why not? It tastes like parsley. Yeah, it's got a real herby flavor. It's delicious. Kind of minty. Trouble is I can't eat enough of it. <laughs> what is that? That's why you need raw meetup groups. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's what happens when you pull it out. Yeah, it looks like conduit when it the, comes, looks like wire. That's like the wheat is beautiful. Yeah, oh yeah, and it's and delicious too. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Now you might not want to eat it out of your yard because of whatever's in your yard, but here it's yeah. good eating. Yeah, it's it's just amazing to be able to grab food from the floor, natural, from nature. Imagine all the uh, proteins, the vitamins, that, uh, the energy of the sun, and the wheat. It wants to grow. Let it grow. So, at a young age, you became vegetarian. Check this out. We've got a seminal pumpkin right here. Oh, cool. Point that out to the people as you pass. Seminal pumpkin. This is called spilanthes, and uh, it's called the toothache plant. And when you eat, when you eat this flower. It's okay. <laughs> uh, this is called spilanthes, and uh, you eat these flowers. It's this little tiny little herb down here, a little form, and um, it produces a bunch of these. And if you eat it, your whole mouth is gonna feel like uh, 
like you're, when your feet fall asleep or your hand falls asleep, mm. you know, it starts wow. tingling. Mm. And then you start salivating, like whoosh, mouth starts salivating like crazy. But it's very good for your oral hygiene. It cleanses your palate. And um, it's really good right before you eat, you know. Mm. This is uh, something we, we often do. Now my fingers are not going to go now. No, no. Right? <laughs> Pop it in. I'll, I'll do it for you. I'll do it. Anybody else want to try? All right, all right. <laughs> There's more by the front door. Here, let's, let's keep on walking. Oh, this is our medicinal patch. That's why I wanted to stop here. So we've got this Philanthes. We've got, um, uh, I just said it, milkweed, I think. And they just went, wow. We've got, um, yeah, right? It's wild, huh? This is comfrey. This is not edible, but... Um, it's <laughs> <laughs> great for wounds, for broken bones. What you do, you harvest a bunch of these leaves <laughs> and uh, blend it up into a poultice and you wow, put it on so the crazy. wound or, yeah. or break. What is it, plantain? Uh, what does it contain? No, no, plantain. What are you talking oh, no, about? Oh, uh, no, comfrey. And um, it uh, is known as bone knit. It helps to set the, the bone or heal the wounds that you have. If you're out in the wild. Yeah, if you're out in the wild, this is a great so one. So is it an herb? It's, uh, yeah, it is an herb. Yeah. What's it called, David? Comfrey. 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 I'll get you one up at the front. Yeah. Um, so this is our composting toilet. Um, That's why the bananas are so happy. <laughs> um, so there's rules to the composting toilet. Has anybody used one before? No, but I did today. All right, right on. Yes. Um, you know, you make your deposit, you cover it with sawdust, everything goes in, you know, just cover it with sawdust and you're good. Um, now the reason we do this, why do we, why are we willing to handle our own stuff, you know? Every time you flush, that's, that's going, you know, out to the ocean, that's, that's a heck of a pollutant. That, mm -hmm. think, of, think of all the people in Miami, that's, that's a lot of human waste and Part of what we're doing here is trying to take responsibility for our lives, trying to take responsibility for everything that we do, you know? And that's, that's something that we all do. It's not something you can, you can let others take, take uh, mm -hmm. responsibility for, in, in my opinion. So what we're trying to do, you know, that's a, that's a heck of a fertilizer. They've been using that. We've been using human waste for forever, since there's been humans. We, we've used that in some form. Now, we don't put it on our vegetable crops because of the EU factor. We don't want to gross anybody out. We just put it on our, our trees in the back. And we're not even using it right now, but it's composting. We let it compost for two years just to make sure there's no pathogens can survive in it, if there were any to begin with, which is very unlikely. None of us have roundworms here in North America. Or anything. Whatever. Um, but yeah, you know, like, think about that as much as you can. Sustainability in every choice that you make, in every aspect of your life, is this, you know, am I being responsible for my actions and for my life? That's, that's something that we want to inspire in everybody. It doesn't have to be a negative thing. It doesn't have to be a bad thing. It it's, should be an uplifting thing. This is, this is power, you know. This is, this is us being powerful with, with our body. You want to see it? There you go. Thank right. you. Yeah, right on. <laughs> that's my soapbox. That's your soapbox.